What's going on guys, it's Tiger Tech Envy here and today we are at the part 3 of the ultimate video editing project and today we are going to take a quick look at the parts that I chose for my first PC build. Now keep in mind that the parts are linked right down below the like button. Well, let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. Now all the parts were inspired by Darius from Tech Wally. He helped me choose the parts, I gotta give credit to Darius. So check his channel out and his link will be down below. The most important part of the computer is most likely the processor. So the processor I chose is the Intel Core i5-4690K. Now the reason why I chose this over the regular 4690 is that I am able to overclock this processor. It's only around $10 difference. Now this doesn't have the hyper threading technology that will help me render my videos, but overall this is a solid processor. As far as the motherboard goes, I chose the Ace Rock Fatality Z97 Killer. It's a solid budget motherboard and it has the red and black color scheme that matches the overall looks of the computer. Also, the biggest feature for me is that it supports 4th and 5th gen Intel processor, so there are plenty of future upgrading, which is really important. For the video card, I chose the MSI Radeon R9270. Now this was a really solid budget graphics card. Now my first choice was a GTX 750 Ti, but this was the same price when I bought it and it performs much better. Also the video card is red and black to match the color scheme that I'm going for. For the storage, I chose a Western Digital Blue 1TB hard drive and I chose a Samsung A40 EVO 120GB SSD. I'm going to install all my games, windows, and my video editing software on the SSD and I'll install other miscellaneous stuff on the hard drive. They are both reliable and popular choices so I can't go wrong with these two storages. For the RAM, I chose the 8GB Kingston Hyper Fury X Red Edition. Now these are clocked at 1866MHz which is pretty fast. Also again, these are red to match my red and black combination. For the CPU cooler, I chose the Corsair H100i. It's a water cooler so I can get my CPU cool even when overclocking. Now I'm going to replace the fans that were included in the H100i. Many people said that they were loud and looking for a silent machine. So I'm going to replace it with the Corsair SP120s. These are made specifically for water coolers and radiators so I should get really good performance. Also, I could make these red and black to match my color scheme. As far as the power supply goes, I chose the Corsair CX600 watts. Now this has plenty of power to run the system and it has enough power for future upgrading. I know it's not modular, but it was very inexpensive, so I can't go wrong with this. Now, the case. I chose the NZXE H440. The case has a very simplistic and uniform look, and it simply looks beautiful. It has 320mm fans on the front and 140mm fans on the back. On all sides, there are sound dampening foam so I can achieve a silent running machine. And the red and black color combination will go together with all of the other parts. And let's take a moment to listen to this. And for the operating system, I got Windows 8.1. Nothing else much to say, but I will also be installing Hackintosh on this. Well, that is all the parts I'm going to use, and the total was roughly $1,000. It may have changed now, but I have all the parts down below. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the build video of the ultimate video editing project. Make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.